this is JP from Northern Lights over Arkham. This time I'm continuing Sister Mary's run through the Inspired Conspiracy campaign. Last time we managed to get 5 experience from the Into Deep scenario, but because we had to put those experiences into the unspent experience uh, category, we can't use those experiences yet. Uh, I'm thinking we can use those after this scenario, but uh, as it stands we haven't done any changes into the deck, so uh, the deck remains the same. So let's uh, look a bit about the scenario first. So we are playing the Devil Reef scenario. Uh, in this scenario we introduce the first vehicles into the game. Uh, we start the game in the fishing vessel, which I have put here. I have marked the fishing vessel with this uh, grey elder sign uh, token, so that it, I don't have to keep on moving the uh, fishing vessel around the map. This map will get a bit uh, crowded with locations later, so uh, all of these are connected to this location. Some of these might be connected to each other, so as we reveal them, I will uh, uh, make some uh, uh, modifications to the map, so to speak, so that we can keep it somewhat coherent. The only thing I have not done in the setup is to add two less tokens into the bag. And because uh, we didn't uh, read the special uh, memory in the first scenario, we are starting uh, the Agenda 1A on the Secret of the Sea version 2. The short story of the scenario is that we are in a flashback again with uh, Sister Mary. We are heading into the Devil Reef. We have rented a boat, a fishing vessel, and we are trying to find out a bit more what the esoteric order of Dagon is up to. So hopefully we can find some answers in this one. So I think that is it enough of the setup, uh, the deck and the scenario. So let's get started. I have reshuffled the decks, so I'll draw the open hand. Well, let's get started. So uh, we get the right of sanctification, the blessed uh, blade. Also, uh, we shuffled Thomas Dawson uh, from the Insmouth Conspiracy Deluxe Box into this uh, deck as instructed in the setup. So. We have uh, Thomas Dawson in our deck for this scenario. Uh, we got Promise of Power and uh, Spectral Razor. So I'm thinking I'm keeping least right of sanctification so that we can get some uh, cheaper stuff into play. And we could keep Thomas Dawson as a soak. Sure. Mm. We also could keep the blessed blade or not. I think, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm I'm really not liking the blessed blade. I'm, I'm a bit upset I included it into the deck. I keep the spectral razor, Thomas Dawson, and I think the promise of power can go. So let's draw two more cards. Well. We get six cents and second win, so at least we got something to fight with, something to soak damage with, and something to investigate with right at the start. A quick mention how the ve vehicles work. Uh, you can, as a pre triggered ability, move from the vehicle to the location it is in. You can do it only once per turn. There's an action to move fishing vessel to a connecting ocean location, so we can uh, sail into uh, 
cave locations or something like that, but we can uh, move between these locations. Uh, there is a resign. If uh, each, if you are in a fishing vessel, resign. Each investigator in the fishing vessel resigns. Remove fishing vessel from the game. Each re uh, resigning investigator places each of their purple, black, or white keys on the current act. All other investigators are left spent for themselves. Okay, uh, let's see what we have to do. So we have the secrets of the sea. Uh, as an additional cost for you to move from one ocean location to another while not in a vehicle, you must spend two actions. So basically it takes your whole turn to move if you're not in the fishing vessel. Pause when your turn begins if you are at a fully flooded location. Struggle for air when your turn ends if you did not enter an unflooded location, partially flooded location, or a vehicle during your turn. Take 5 direct damage. And we start in a fully flooded location. Then uh, we have the Reef of Mysteries. Somewhere in these accursed reefs, the esoteric order of Dagon is hiding something deep. But what? Uh, keys can only be claimed from Yuhat Lay locations using the pre triggered ability on those locations. Objective find and claim as many of the following keys as you can from Yuhat Lay locations purple, white, and black. If you control all three of these keys, advance. So uh, the Objective is to find the keys and get a hold of them. And let's see, I think I'll start by playing the Rite of Sanctification. And we have two blessed tokens in the back, so I'll just grab those two. So we seal them onto the right. Of sanctification. Second action, I'll play Thomas Dawson. I'll use one of the uh, blessed tokens from the Rite of Sanctification. So Dawson only costs two resources to play. And I think the last action, I'll just play this and pay for it. Uh, that is all our whole turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep. We draw a card, we get the ward of protection, and again one resource. So, uh, to remind, uh, Thomas Dawson gives us plus one will and plus one fight, uh, free trigger ability after an enemy attacks an investigator at your location, even if that was. Uh, attack was cancelled at source Thomas Dawson, the investigator draws one card, so we get some card draw and a good soak. Okay, well, uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, the first encounter card is. So we get a lurking deep one. Uh, after lurking deep one, Gets you take one damage. I'll take the damage of Dawson. And that is the mythos phase done. I think the first action is to spend. Oh, yeah, uh, at the end of the round, we added one blessed token to the back. We'll use the last blessed token from Rite of Sanctification to cheapen. A spectral Razor. So I'm hitting. I have a plus one wheel and plus one fight. So I am hitting five, uh, uh, nine versus two. And it's a minus one. So this. Uh, Lurking deep one is defeated. Second action, let's start uh, checking out this devil reef. Uh, 
notifications. I think we'll head up here. So we reveal Black Reef. It's a two strat location with zero clues, Ocean Island. Uh, first, after you reveal Black Reef, increase its load level. Put two random set aside tidal channels in play, each adjacent to Black Reef, but not to one another. Then put one random set aside unfathomable depths into play adjacent to both of those tidal tunnels. Okay, let's see how we can do this. So we have this uh, tidal tunnel deck. So we'll put two uh, of those. Then we get these unfathomable depths. Shuffle these two. Here. Okay. Then uh, I use the free ability to get off the boat. Oh, yeah, and we have to rise the level uh, by one. So uh, I'll move into the tidal tunnel. So it's the underground river. It's a force route location with two clues. Underground river cannot be fully flooded. And uh, post after underground river is revealed, increase its flood level. So there are two clues here, and it's uh, partially flooded. That is our turn, no enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, we get dynamite blast, gain one resource. And that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a second doom, then count the card is. Uh, rising tide, increase the flood level of the nearest location that can have its flood level increased. No location flood level is increased. By this effect, rising tides gain surge. So we can rise the black reefs level. So that is that. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I think we're just investigating and trying to get this victory point location, and I bet we need those tools later on. Um, first action I'm investigating by the four. I'm just committing the second ring, so six first, four. Oh, yeah, and we should have added our best token at the end of the last round. I think I'm going to put this onto my deck from now on so I remember to add it. I, I just can't understand how I forget every time. So, six versus four. It's a minus one, we grab a clue with six cents and second, we'll try again. I'm just uh, trying five versus four. And it's a plus one. So we grab the clues from here. Our last action, I think we'll go check out the unfathomable depths. So, it's a cave, uh, you call play location, forced, uh, after this location is revealed, place the set aside black key on it. Uh, read triggered ability, if investigators at this location control both the blue key and the yellow key and spend three clues per investigator as group, take control of the black key and uh, read flashback uh, 11 in the campaign guide. So we put the black key here. I think we're not uh, staying here for that much longer. We need to find the keys first. So that is our ho whole turn. Uh, no enemies, we go to upkeep, draw a card, get uh, drawn to the flame. Well, that's the useful. We gain one resource and we add the blessed token into the back. So 
That is the turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are a doom. And can't guard this. Throw away. Scheme uh, revelation. If no investigators are in a vehicle, stow away gain search. So we just search it. Uh, psychic pull. Revelation. If you have no cards in your hand, psychic pull can search. Otherwise, discard one random card from your hand. Then test willpower X, where X is the printed cost of the discarded card in your card. If you fail, lose one action. I think I'm just. I I don't want to lose dynamite blast or drawn to the flame. So I'll actually just uh, take one horror and ward this. So that is that. Mm. We could get these clues, but I'm, I think I'm saving the drone to the flame to a victory publication. So a first action will move back to the underground river. Next action will move to Black Reef. And let's go check this other side. So we enter the tidal tunnel and it's a, a new location. It's the bootlegger's hideaway. It's a four shard location with one clue false after bootlegger's hideaway is revealed. Randomly choose one of the set aside face that is and place it on the bootlegger's hideaway without looking at it. Action if you control the white key, draw three cards. Okay. So we have the key tokens here, so I'll just quickly re randomize them. And we'll pick uh, this one. I like the, this one. Okay. And that is all our turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep. I draw shriveling. And I'll gain one resource. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Just noticing that I'm a bit out of frame here, so I'll just put all of these a bit lower. Okay, much, much better. So, we add a Doom to the agenda. Four of nine. Count card is another psychic pool. So now I can't cancel it, so I'll just have to shuffle all my hand, then uh, discard one randomly, and then test uh, willpower X, where X is the print cost of the discarded card. If I fail, I lose one action. It's mostly annoying. Okay, and we'll discard the shriveling. So we are testing willpower 3, I'm testing. Uh, 5 versus 3, not committing anything to the test. Oh yeah, last turn we forgot again to add the blessed token. Now I'm just putting this again here. Okay, so we get an elder sign, so we succeed and we'll add a blessed token into the bag. So that is resolved. First action. I think I'm saving the drawn to the flame, so I'm investigating uh, 5 versus 4. Actually, yeah, because I, I don't want to risk pulling an enemy from the encounter deck right at this moment. So we get a plus 1, so we uh, get this clue. Then uh, we can get this key, so we get the blue key. Uh, last action, let's check out this uh, unfathomable depths. It's a uh, Cyclopean Ruins. It's a one shard location with two clues. Forced after this location is revealed, it becomes fully flooded. Place the set aside white key on it. Three action ability. If investigators at this location control both the blue key and the green key and spend three clues, they control the white key and read last action 10 the campaign guide. So we still need the green key somewhere uh, 
so I think that is our next priority. Then we'll head back here. So we put two clues here and the white key. So I think I'm just heading back uh, out. And that is our turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, we get the sword cane, we gain one resource, and we'll add a blessed token into the bag. So we have eight blessed tokens in the bag, not seen any of them yet. Hopefully, we can start pulling them when we need them. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Now we add a doom, and come to Cardis. Uh, deep on assault. Disengage from each deep on enemy at your location. Each deep on enemy at your location and each connecting location engages you. If no enemies engage you from this effect, first then counter deck and discard file for a deep on enemy. Spawn it, engage you and shuffle the encounter deck. Mm. Okay, let's uh, search for something. It's easy to defeat. So I think the easiest one is the lurking deep one. Just spawn that and take one damage when it engages. I think first action will uh, play the sword cane. So I'm uh, hitting with the sword cane, as, and I don't have to pay the cost. And also, pay, paying the sword cane doesn't trigger attacks of opportunity. So I am hitting uh, five versus. Uh, it's a minus three, so we hit. I'll hit again and exhaust the sword cane. It's a minus one, so this uh, lurking deep one is defeated. Then we'll move to Black Reef and enter the fishing vessel. And that is our turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep. I draw a card, I get the promise of power, I'll gain one resource and I'll add one less token into the bag. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom, then come to Paradis. Uh, hunting deep one. Uh, while hunting deep one is engaged with you, you cannot enter vehicles or gain resources. Fourth, after hunting deep one engages you, if you are not in a vehicle, lose two resources. If you are in a vehicle, leave your vehicle. Okay. Uh, I'll just. I'm just evading using the focus sword cane. So I'm evading five versus three. token we get another plus token and we get a skull and the skull is a zero so I decide to use the sacred covenant to turn these back into the bag we don't need them this uh, deep one is faded so we'll okay. Mark it. So it's here. 
then uh, free action will move into the fishing vessel we'll sail off to here and let's sail off to here let's see what we get uh, hidden coal so uh, post after you reveal hidden coal put one set aside tidal tunnel to play adjacent to hidden coal then put one set aside unfathomable depths into play adjacent to the tidal tunnel okay so put it here we get uh, one tidal tunnel and one unfathomable depths so all of the unfathomable depths are in play still have five tidal tunnels that can come into play. Then I think I'm uh, get uh, I can't get off the boat this turn because I entered the boat this turn. Okay. I think that is our turn. No enemies we got upkeep. That into the back. So we draw a card, we get shriveling, we gain one resource, and we add a blessed token into the back. So now we have 10 blessed tokens in the back. We can't have any more, so now at least we don't have to remember them. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. Uh, we are at 7 of 9 doom, the encounter is a malfunction. So, malfunction is a blunder, revelation attached to the nearest vehicle, sorry asset. Uh, abil uh, action abilities on attached att asset cannot be triggered. Action, uh, test, uh, intellect 3, if you succeed, discard malfunction. So I think... We want to get rid of that right away, because we want to leave this place sometime soon. So I, I actually will uh, promise of power this, so I'll add one curse token into the back. I will spend one action to try to use our intellect, so I'm testing six versus three. Uh, we get a plus one, so we succeed. And the Malfunctions moved. Second action, let's move into the tidal tunnel. Uh, we get another underground river. Oh, yeah, we'll get off the boat, then move. And I think I'll take a risk here. And I will draw onto the plane this. So we get an encounter card, and it is uh, shapes in the water. Test uh, will power through. If you fail, take one true horror. This death gets plus one difficulty if your location is flooded. Oh yeah, and our location is partially flooded. And uh, yeah, plus two if it's fully flooded. So it's a uh, will power three test. I am not committing anything to this test. It's an elder sign. We don't have any less tokens to add, so we succeed. We get these clues, and that is the turn. Oh, well, this enemy hunts, so this isn't connected to here, right? Yeah. So this guy hunts here, and that is the. Enemy base. I think I'll move this guy over here. So upkeep, we draw a card, we get the blessed blade and gain one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at eight doom of nine. The encounter card is uh Loigar. It's a three fight five health and for a wave monster, pray fewest cards in hand, aloof, 
hunter, while an investigator at Liquor Lugoyer's location has no cards in hand, Lugoyer gains a loot post at the end of the enemy phase. Each investigator at Lugoyer's location or a connecting location discards one random card from their hand, and it's a victory point one enemy. So, uh, I want to deal with this guy. I think I'm playing the shriveling just in case. I think we're uh, pretty close to a situation. We have to start fighting like mad against these enemies. Second action, let's see what's here. So it's the deep one grotto. Force after this location is revealed, increase its board level. Place the set aside purple kidney. Free trigger ability. If investigators at this location control both the green key and the yellow key and spend three clues per investigator as a group, they control the purple key and read Blaster 9 in the campaign guide. Okay, so the purple key sounds here. There are two clues here. And Lord level increased by one. Okay. So actually, as a last action, I think I'll draw a card because this one will cause me to discard cards. So I I want to increase the. Uh, Possibility to keep hold of the dynamite blast. I'll draw a card. I get the hallowed mirror. Okay, well, I possibly would have wanted to play the hallowed mirror, but it is what it is. So, enemy face, this moves here, this moves here, and it's a loop, but still, uh, we at the end of the enemy face, we have to. All these and discard one card. So I'll discard this one. So we unfortunately lost the dynamite blast. And, oh, yeah, and we draw Olive McBride and we gain one crystal. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at 9 Doom of 9, so let's uh, advance the agenda. And we get the Terror of Devil Reef, uh, writing in the deep. It's a 3 flight, uh, 6 health and 3 Evade monster elite spawn fishing vessels location hunter massive retaliate. The terror of devil reef cannot enter a cave location spawn when the terror of devil reef would be defeated. Instead, move, uh, instead remove all damage from it and exhaust it. It cannot ready for the remainder of the round, including the upkeep phase. We can't just uh, put him over here. It spawns at the fishing vessel's location, so here. Oh boy, that dynamite blast would be pretty good right about now. But what can you do? I think uh, we have to get rid of this guy some way. So, uh, first action, I'll just engage. Second action, let's shrivel. I'm shriveling uh, five versus three. We get a plus, and we get a zero. Uh, I'll return the plus token. No. Uh, 
can afford to lose one less, so we'll spend that. Then we deal two damage. And last action, I'll struggle again. Actually, I'll just ward gain now. So I'm using the. Yeah, I'm not commenting anything. I'm just sitting with the sword gain. So. 5 versus 3. And it's a minus 1, so we deal one more damage. So next turn we can shrivel and kill it. Uh, enemy face this hunt here. That can enter the cave location, so we are safe. And so we have to discard one card at random from our hand. So we discard this one. So we lose the hollowed mirror. We keep Oliver Pride and Best Bait. We draw a card. We get the Ward of Protection. We gain one resource. And that is that turn. Oh, yeah, let's. Actually, I forgot to see what this is all about. So, the Devil of the Depths. Now you know why none dare venture near the Black Reefs. It's not just the strange sightings of the islands. There is something far older and more horrifying than that dwells under the waves. As an additional cause for you to move from one location to another while not in a vehicle, you must spend two actions for Okay, the same same text as before. So, okay, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom. It, uh, the threshold is nine again. Encounter card is uh, dragged under. Scheme terror revelation put dragged under in pain your threat area. If you are in a vehicle, leave it. You cannot enter vehicle. Test a strength, uh, combat tree or agility tree if you succeed this card dragged under. I think we are not we we are not gonna keep that. So I'll just board of protection it. I'll take one for here. Spend one resource. That is that. First action. We'll shrivel. Oh yeah, at the end of the last round we added one plus token to the back. So it's a zero because we don't have any keys yet. So this is dead. We add it into the victory display, I'll just place it over here. We take one horror from the shrivel. Second action will move here. And let's see. After hunting deep one engages you, if you are not in a vehicle, we'll resources. Fine. And last action will uh, evade with the sword cane. Actually, we'll keep with the sword cane. So we can kill it next turn with the shrivel. I forgot to draw a card with Thomas Dawson and take one damage and one horror when the other guy attacked last round. Yeah, so just add them now. And let's see. Okay, so we. No, I think I'll. Uh, evade. I'll evade. Yeah. It's a bless. It's a zero, so we'll use the covenant to return the bless token. And we'll succeed. So this guy is evaded. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep. 
Jessica engages us, we lose one resource. Record, we gain one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at two of nine doom. Encounter Cardis. It's another hunting deep one. Well, damn it. Now the dynamite blast would be so good, but it is what it is. Well, um, I think we are just uh, shriveling the first one. It's a blessed token, another blessed token. A minus two. So I'll use the covenant because we are fighting five versus three, so we don't need to do less tokens. So we still hit, we deal two damage. Then we'll sword cane Or should we just fight? I think I'm just fighting. I'm uh, spending the less blades for this. So I'm fighting 6 vs 3. It's an auto fail. Okay, last action. I think we'll just uh, sword can it. it's a zero so at least this one uh, hunting deep one is defeated the other one hits us so we'll take one damage on four or I'll exhaust the Thomas Dawson to a card oh god damn it unbelievable well, it is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much sums up the game. I'm just bogged down with enemies, so let's see what we can do in the next turn. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Yeah, I forgot to draw a card and gain one resource at the end of the last round, so. Now, let's see, we add a Doom, Encounter Cardis, uh, Psychic Pull, just uh, try to cancel it, we are, can't afford to lose actions. So I reveal 5 tokens, and if I hit Bless for Elder Sign, okay, well I hit 1 Bless, so we are fine, this should be ready. Be ready. Yeah. That is that. So, uh, first action, let's reveal the uh, hunting deep one. It's a blessed token. And it's the elder thing. It's a minus four. Well, uh, if your location has a key on it, take one four or uh, doesn't. So uh, we have to spend this, but we still hit. So we deal two damage, but we also take a horror from the shriveling. And uh, let's sword cane. Five versus two. Uh, five versus three. Uh, if you fail and this is an attack or evasion attempt against deep one enemy, it gets okay. It just hits. It's a minus two, so this guy is defeated. 
and then we have the mop enforcer. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm just trying to evade this uh, mob enforcer. Evading three versus three. So we hit a plus. Hit another plus. <laughs> another plus. And it's a skull, so it's a zero. Let's use the covenant to just uh, put this back into the bag. So we evade. Uh, enemy face, nothing happens. Upkeep. I'll be draw a card. Gain one resource. Put one blast token in the back. This guy ready engages us again. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we had a doom, four of nine. Counter card is please don't be an enemy. <laughs> well, of course, it is a uh, deep one predator hunter. Uh, it's a four fright, uh, fight, two health, and two evade. Uh, humanoid monster deep one caused after deep one predator engages you, move one of your clues or keys to deep one predator. So, then, oh, yeah, we have one. I think forgetting I have the key. I think uh, last turn we should have returned one. Last token, yeah. Damn it. So much to remember. Well, it is what it is. So. I defeat this, I get all of the clues and keys, okay. First action will just kill the mob enforcer. Sending two resources to play. Spectral uh, Razor, I'm hitting at 9 versus 4. It's a minus 4, so. The mob enforcer is dead. Then yeah, I'm just I, uh, yeah, I'm using the sport game. That guy will engage us again and take another blue. We really don't want to be in this location. Okay, I think I'm just keeping that guy around because it, it's only one horror. So I'll just move here. My second action. This guy hits me for one horror, I'll draw a card if Thomas. I get another sword cane. And I'll use sword cane to evade this guy. And yeah, I'm the evading now. I'm getting on the board. I'm evading. Versus three. It's a minus two, so we succeed, so we evaded. And enemy face, this uh, deep one predator hit one horror. Uh, be exhausted. Uh, upkeep. Everything ready, we draw a card. Again, one resource. So let's see if we can next turn get to uh, 
churning water and <laughs> resign because I'm not seeing me can uh, keep keep this going for much longer with one health remaining. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Yeah, that doom we are at five of nine. Encounter card is uh, dragged under. Put dragged under into play in your threat area. If you are in a vehicle, leave it. You cannot enter a vehicle. <laughs> oh my god. Well, um, first action evade the terror of Devil Reef. I'll use the sword cane. I'll commit Olive to the test. Ay, ay, ay. It's a skull, it's a man's one. We succeed. This uh, monstrosity is evaded. Oh, yeah, we are not here. We are over here. Yeah. Then. Second action, we'll take a horror, we'll try to resolve this. I'm using Promise of Power for this test, and I'm uh, testing uh, uh, combat, so I'm combat 4, 8 versus 3. And it's a tablet. If you fail and you are not in a vehicle, they can damage what we are. So this gets removed. And I move here again. Then uh, we'll take one hit and draw a card. We move over here. I have to resign next turn. Yeah. So, enemy face, the deep one predator hits, kills off uh, Thomas Dawson. That is that. This guy readies. We draw a card. We get David Renfield. We gain one the source. And that is that turn. Uh, no plus tokens to add back. And let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 6 of 9 Doom, and count the card is... Horrors from the Deep. Test Agility 2. If you fail, take 2 damage. Distance gets plus 1 difficulty. If your location is loaded, plus 2 if your pool is loaded. Well, uh, let's uh, Ward of Radiance it. Pulling 5 tokens from the back, hoping to hit 1. Uh, elder sign or one less token. So that is four. We hit it. And yeah. So this is cancelled. Thank God. <laughs> that would have killed me. And uh, first action. I will resign. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that. Uh, that is a. Uh, Quite hard scenario for a true solo. I have to admit it. Uh, I'm not sure. Should I, if I hit these locations that have these, um, that have these uh, unfathomable depths locations, should I just ignore them and uh, move on to these other locations to? Maybe find these more of these tidal tunnel locations to find the keys, because without the keys, it's really frustrating to go into the uh, second location in this, and then just can't do anything there and waste time. So I think I think the right strategy for two solo is that you aim for like one uh, special key. Find the other keys, then find a location that suits the that get that key, 
uh, if you have plenty of time get another key but then just get out because <laughs> this is this is just horrible and this guy oh my god can't even kill it it's it just comes back and back but yeah it's nothing new it's uh, basically the same that we had with the uh, the circle undone and with the spectral watcher but yeah this campaign is really punishing me because now I'm I'm like one horror and one health away from dying and I didn't even get to uh, explore other than two locations that I had time to visit before everything went to hell I, I really got bogged down with enemies that's that's uh, one reason I didn't advance anywhere but yeah uh, still I think this needs some more plays so I can say if it's a good or bad <laughs> scenario but still I'm enjoying this uh, campaign a lot uh, now we got well we got a decent amount of experience to add to our deck so we have uh, one uh, two three four experience so let's see the resolution for resigning. If no resolution was reached, East Investigator resigns or was defeated, proceed to resolution 1. Uh, with daylight fading and the tide rising to swallow the various islands of the coast of Innsmouth, you decide to make your way back to the harbor with your discoveries. Found what you were looking for, Mr. Moore asks once you've made it to the coast safely. Truth be told, uh, you're not completely sure what you found was startling. The cover, coast and tidal caverns of Devil Reef were a home not just to relics of the esoteric order of Dagon, but also to a horde of strange creatures, hybrids between fishmen and monster. You might have escaped with your life, but the horrors you saw in those caves still Stay with you forever. Sharp jack teeth, blood stench, altars, unholy prayers, signs of coming catastrophe. I still, uh, it still haunts you even after you escape. But is Innsmouth truly safe? Is any land at all? So each investigator earns experience equal to the victory x value of each card in the history display. Record this experience under unspent experience in your campaign log, but do not spend any of it yet. You will be instructed to spend it. I spent this experience at a later time. Find the Terror of Devil Reef. If it was Agenda 1A when the game ended, or if the Terror of Devil Reef is in play, record in your campaign log, the Terror of Devil Reef is still alive. Yeah, it's still alive. Uh, if the Terror of Devil Reef is in the victory display, record it in your campaign log, the Terror of Devil Reef is dead. Uh, how can you kill that? Well, maybe there's some other way I didn't discover. Uh, proceed to interlude 3 beneath the waves. Do not move the purple, black or white key from their current position just yet. The location of each of these keys will be important during interlude 3 beneath the waves. Okay, well, mm, I'll just skim through these. So I didn't have any of the keys, so I'll just skip them. Uh, so if no keys were on the current act or controlled by an investigator when the scenario ended, you struggle to remember anything of value beyond your initial exploration of the reef, you recall the uncanny creature you fought, the various islands you explored and the steadily rising tides, but no more. Uh, secret must be hidden in those reefs, but either you were unable to find them or you simply don't recall. Your head thrums with pain as you struggle to summon memories from the void within your mind. That's okay, Agent Parker says. Placing a hand on your shoulder, we'll figure this out together. So, uh, we return Thomas Dawson to the collection. If an investigator earned Elena Harper at any point during this campaign, they may add her back to the deck. We didn't. Uh, with the fragment of your memory returned to you, past events have clear each investigator may now spend the experience recorded under unspent experience in your campaign log proceed to scenario 5 horror in high gear okay so uh, next time we are playing the car uh, chase scenario horror in high gear 
and uh, we have nine experience to uh, improve uh, the deck so looking forward to that thanks for watching and until next time